welcome back. Now, another thing that you can do when you are doing a live event is you can you can embed the link on one of your web pages. So, for example, if we were to take another live event and we were to create one from YouTube Live here, and we were to start the live event, our Hangout would start and we would be broadcasting live on YouTube Live. We can go inside of our page by clicking this edit button and we can then click view on watch page. And you'll notice then that our stream is live here. And what we would do then is we would then go to the share button. We would then click the embed button. We can then take care of the embed options, grab the code, and then head to our website. And of course, we're just using WordPress as an example. You can use the site builder that you find most helpful. We're going to put in our code after a center code. Once we have it, we're then going to click publish. And then we'll view our post here. Now you need to give the individual's instruction to click this button. But as soon as they did, they would then be watching our stream live as it happened. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. In conclusion, now before you get into strategic tools such as social media and search engine optimization, it's a good idea to understand the tools that YouTube has given you to make sure that your video is widely distributed. And in this course, that is what we have focused on. You now know how to use your direct shareable link and to make it available in those places where people might see and join your live stream. You now know how to download your video in MP4 format and upload it to other locations. And we've reviewed all of the channel promotional tools, whether or not you're talking about your channel art, your links, or even your channel trailer. We also discussed how you can create your playlist and make them available on your channel homepage. And we've discussed the video post-production process. Everything from blurring information to thumbnails, in-screen, cards, subtitles, playlists, and your advanced settings. We also discuss adding audio to your video as well as working with your subscribers. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you either in another video or in another course. Welcome back. Now, when you are inside of your live stream, there is one link that you can use in order to share to other places, and that's at the bottom of your right-hand corner. So, for example, if you look to the right-hand corner and you click this hyperlink, you can take that link and you can post that to other places. Now, the other link you can share is going to be available to you when you have this setting enabled inside of your live stream, and that is to promote on my channel page when the event is live. That means then that if you're sharing your channel page, the individual will be able to watch your live stream on this page. Now the link that you're going to share that will be permanent will be your channel link and the word live after it. So for example, in this case, you'll see the channel name and then you'll see the word live after it. And this is where your visitors will be able to come whenever you have a live stream and that live stream will be playing here on your front page. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.